Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to download and install the Warcraft 3 Reforge beta and play custom games. To do this you'll need to download the Battle.net game launcher and create and log in with an account. Once you have done that you'll be presented with the Warcraft 3 option in the game selection sidebar. Once you click it you'll see a buy now button if you haven't yet purchased the game that looks like this one. However, since I have already purchased the game, it shows you have purchased this game at the bottom. By default, you will see this screen. To change it, click the Warcraft 3 drop-down selector and change it to Warcraft 3 Reforged Beta. You'll now be able to install and play the Warcraft 3 Beta. All accounts that purchase Warcraft 3 Reforged are automatically given access to the Beta so anyone can play. It takes around 10 seconds to the game for the game to launch and you'll be automatically logged in. Once you've been logged in, you'll see the Versus, Custom Games, Replay, and Collection option. Versus lets you play a regular match of Warcraft 3 online. Custom Games lets you host your own lobby or join someone else's. Replay lets you play a replay, and Collection allows you to change your Battle.net portrait. We're going to click Custom Games. From here, we can join an existing lobby by clicking it, and then clicking Join, or just double-clicking. If you don't have the map already, it'll automatically download it, but I'm going to be clicking Create. From here, you can create a regular map, or go to Download and host a custom one. The map I'll be hosting is Uther Party. You have to give a map at least a four character long title, so I'm going to call it Uther Party. You can then change a few basic settings, such as game speed or advanced options. I recommend leaving these all on default, because it is how the maps were originally intended. You'll notice that the game is public by default, however you can change it to private if you want to. If a game is on private, it can only be joined if someone enters the lobby's exact title, because it will not automatically appear in the game finder. I'm going to leave it on public and host. This is the lobby screen. If you're the host, you can invite people to the game, add computers, or close slots. Once you are ready to start the game, click start, and a five second timer will begin. You'll also notice that someone already joined the lobby. You can abort the timer within the first three seconds, and that's all there is to it. That's how you host and create games in Warcraft 3 Reforged. 